So if you're watching this video, that should be because you missed class today. So these are the notes that you missed in class. There's a worksheet on Schoology that goes along with this, a guided notes sheet, so make sure you're taking notes as we go along. The next unit we're learning about is ecology, and these notes are how ecologists categorize the levels of organization within an ecosystem. Ecologists have organized the interactions an organism takes part in into different levels according to complexity. So we're going to start with the most simple and go to the most complex. The first level of organization in the biosphere is an organism. So an organism is just an individual living thing. For example, this zebra here is one single organism. The second level of organization is called a population. So this is a group of organisms, all of the same species, which interbreed and live in the same place at the same time. So let's say, for example, a herd of zebra, or a group of monkeys living in the rainforest, or a group of deer that are living in the same place at the same time. The third level of organization is called a community. So these are all the populations of different species that live in the same place at the same time. So if you can see in this picture, we have a herd of zebra, so that's one population. We also have a herd of wildebeest, so that's another population. So we have two populations living in the same place at the same time. That's called a community. And then an ecosystem is populations of both plants and animals that interact with each other in a given area with the abiotic components of that area as well. So if you remember, abiotic means non-living, non-living things. So that would be things like rocks, air, sunlight, water. So we have all of our populations. So here we have a population of elephants, population of giraffes, we have the trees, we have the grass, but we also have the non-living things like the sunlight, the wind, the dust, the water. All of those things interacting are called an ecosystem. So that's the fourth level of organization within the biosphere. A biome is a specific type of ecosystem with plants and animals adapted to live there. So like we saw in the video the other day um, when we were watching Planet Earth, each type of ecosystem is called a biome. So if you see here highlighted in this kind of reddish color, this is the, the taiga biome. Remember we saw that on the video, lots of pine trees, still very cold. So um, one particular place in the taiga. So one particular forest would be an ecosystem, but if we look at all of the taiga biome in North America and in Russia and Europe, that is called the taiga biome because they're all the same type of ecosystem. Same thing um, for deserts. If we see here in yellow, we have some desert in Southwest America. We also have deserts over here on the other side of the world, and some down here, some over here. So any ecosystem that has very dry climate, is very hot, that would be categorized as a desert biome. And then the most broad level of organization would be the biosphere. So that's any portion of the earth that supports life. So anything from the surface of the earth all the way to the top of the atmosphere where birds can fly, um, that's called the biosphere. So now let's practice a little bit. So what level of organization do we think Simba is? Just one Simba. That would be an organism, right? Because it's just one single animal. All right, so if we look at this example, we have a um, group of elephants here, Population of giraffes over here, some zebra, we've got Mufasa up here on the rock. So if we're just looking at the living things, we would call this a community, right? Because that's all the populations within a given environment. But if we also think about the abiotic factors or the non-living things like the rocks, the sunlight, 
the clouds, the wind, the air, then we would call this an ecosystem. So it depends how specific you want to get here. And our last example here, what level do you think it is? We've got two lions, both the same species, right? So that would be a population. So just to sum up, we have an individual. So if we look at this image here at the bottom left, we have one elk. So that would be an individual organism. Then when we talk about a bunch of the same species, that's a population. Community would be several animals living together in the same space. Ecosystem would be the living things and the non-living things interacting, right? We have water here too, we've got some air, we've got sunlight. So when the living and non-living things interact, that's the ecosystem. The biome is the same type of ecosystem found in different areas around the world. And then the biosphere is just the entire portion of the earth where life exists. Okay, so now that you're an expert in the levels of organization, you're going to create your own example on the next page. So choose your own individual organism, identify its population, those that live in its community, ecosystem, biome, and biosphere. You don't have to draw the pictures. You can find them from Google, or if you'd like to just put the names of the individual organisms, that's fine too. Okay, so once you're done, just submit back to Schoology, and I'll see you tomorrow in class.